What's going on, everybody? This is Edward with QVS and Bert with QVS. Um, he's going to show us today the new VW-4PHU, which is our upgraded model. We're replacing the VW-4PH. And uh, so he just opened up the box. Can you just go explain what's all in the box? Okay, so this is pretty much everything it comes with. You have the unit here. You have the AC adapter, which actually comes with different connector heads for different countries. Cool. You have a USB, which comes with different applications. And we'll go through that later. And also uh, the wall mounting unit. Cool. Um, I know this is upgraded, so you're going to get better performance with this one? Yes. Uh, it has a better Wi-Fi card, so you get better performance for multiple connections and better video performance. And also a uh, remote desktop connection with the USB ports on the Okay, front. and two USB ports yep. on the front. Cool. So um, it works exactly like the VW-4PH, but go ahead and plug it in and we'll just set okay. it up. Uh, first thing I actually did was uh, I installed the antenna. So okay, it goes cool. right onto the back there. And what I'm going to do is plug in the HDMI and get the AC adapter. There we go. Plug this right in. And plug in the back. Cool. Green light turns on. You're getting power. So it's booting up right now. Okay. And uh, when people first set this up, are you going to run in with any issues just... Uh, when first plugging in at all? Sometimes when using HDMI, they might have to set it so the unit actually outputs of the HDMI because most of the time it outputs VGA. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go check my Wi-Fi. Okay, cool. Um, this Wi-Fi will actually show uh, the WPS connection once it starts. Okay. So if you give it a second here, you'll see WPS show up. And that's just the generic signal it's going to put out. It's called WPS? Yeah, the generic SSID is WPS. Okay, cool. So to refresh this, I'm using Windows 8.1, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn off my Wi-Fi, turn it back on, and see if it comes up. And since it is still booting, it probably won't show up yet. So we okay. have to give it a second or so. Okay. But uh, if it is set on HDMI, it usually would push show the splash screen right away. If not, then most likely it's probably set on VGA. And in that case, we would have to go in and change the settings. That's correct. Okay, cool. So let's try this again here. There you go. Okay. Now we see it pop up. So what I'm going to do, go ahead and connect the WPS. Click on it. Hit connect. What's, what it's doing now is my computer is going to connect to the WPS directly, just like a wireless router. I'm going to go ahead and open any web browser, Google Chrome. You could use Internet Explorer if you like, Safari. And in the address here, what I'm going to do is go to the default address which is 192.168.100.10, okay? And this is essentially just like connecting to a wireless router, so setting it up. Oh, okay, cool. So it's that, that, that uh, IP is the generic one as always whenever you get one of these, correct? Yes. Okay. What I'm going to do is go to admin. This will give me all my settings. Default password says right there, A-D-M-I-N. Hit enter. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is make sure I get it display. So I'm going to switch the video to HDMI. So I'm going to go to device setup. Okay, oh, there it is. Hit HDMI. And this is the U version, so 720p is going to be the highest. Okay. Hit apply. And what it'll do, it'll ask to reboot. So go ahead and reboot now. And let's hit OK. Okay, cool. So if anybody's having issues when they first plug it in, don't worry. It could just be set on VGA, and that just shows how to change it. So HDMI, correct? That is right. Cool. Uh, so what we're going to do now, since it is rebooting, um, I want to have an internet connection to it. So once it's done, I'll show you how to get your internet connected to it. Okay, cool. Let's see. HDMI. What does HDMI stand for? High Definition Multimedia Interface. Oh. Yes. There okay. you go. Cool. So when you first plug it in, this is what you should see. But if you do, if you don't, like I, like we said, you can go ahead and do what Bert just did and change the settings. Um, let's take a look at that splash screen. That showed the boot up. And uh, you know what? Actually explain what's going on on this screen so people know what's going on. Okay, so what this is the default splash screen. So what it does is it just shows you, here's the instructions on how to connect to it. You know, you go through each step. So this mm -hmm. is for any end user that needs to connect to their screen. Okay. On the bottom here, shows you the resolution version. This is a firmware version. We do have normal updates. 
on that. Um, and then there is the SSID. So this is what the wireless is emitting. So this is what you see, WPS. That's okay. what we saw on the computer. Here's the channel. Uh, when it comes to Wi-Fi channels, there's up to 11 of them. So you choose whatever uh, you'd like. But right now it's set on auto, so it picks the best one. Okay. And here's the security. Right now I have it off because we didn't set anything up yet. Okay, cool. Okay, so what it's doing, it's going to the default server IP. Okay. And I have my internet connection here right on the RJ45 going over to our switch. Okay. I'm just going to plug it right in. And once I do that, if you go ahead and take a look at the server IP, it should change any second here. There you go. I see. So without that, they could still connect to it and still mirror and display and do a wireless presentation. This right here, though, gives that access to the internet. Exactly. And there's two ways to do that is with the wired connection, what we did. Or you could actually go through the admin settings under network and do that wirelessly. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Cool. So now... All right, so we're having a meeting right now. First thing I'm going to need to do, uh, let's just go ahead and uh, follow what it says on the screen. Connect your PC or Mac to the Wi-Fi network, name shown below. Are you already connected to it? I'm actually not because we had to reboot. So let me go to WPS. I'm going to connect again. Oh, now it's connected. Okay. Cool. Number two, launch WPS application. Okay, so I don't have it yet. Okay, let's see what else says. Okay, you can do it from the USB token or download from the WPS device through a web browser. Okay. okay, so what it's saying is if you don't download it directly from that, you could get it right off here, correct? That is correct. All right, but right now you are downloading it directly off of the unit. Yeah, so what I'm going to do now is type in that IP address because that's a new one that we have. Okay. There you go. And then right here you see download. Download utility from Windows, yeah, and then utility from Mac is down here. So I have Windows. I'm going to go ahead and download. And this downloads directly from the device, so it is pretty quick. Cool. So if you ever have a presentation going on, someone just comes in with their laptop, they can always just down, either download the program directly off the unit or run the program off of this dongle, right? That's correct. And once oh. you plug that in, it should autoplay and open up right away. Oh, cool. Okay, it's done downloading. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Okay, Windows protected your PC. This is a Windows 8 thing. So what you do here is just go to More Info and hit Run Anyway. Sometimes in Windows 7, you'll get a prompt to run it just like this, and you just hit Yes. It's pretty much just like installing any program. So this is a generic installation wizard just hit next and it's done okay so now what it's gonna do is it'll start it automatically this is the main program here what it's doing is saying connect to WPS I'm already connected to it so let's go ahead and hit skip searches for the VW-4PHU login username is my uh, my name because this is, it's actually pulling that from the computer. Code 7352. And that's a security code that's on the screen. And what happens is uh, that will change once everyone disconnects. So it's secure from outside users. Let's hit connect. And there we go. We have it right on the screen. And uh, okay, so what's the native resolution on your laptop right now? Right now, I'm actually at. 1600 by 900. Okay, and so what you're seeing on the screen is, what is that? It's actually a 720p, mm -hmm. but what it's doing, it's scaling it to fit that screen. I see. Cool, cool. And it looks pretty good. Yeah, and everything from video performance here, I mean, that's probably the main thing that everyone wants to know is to test performance would be the video. Yeah, so if like if someone's in here, they're having a presentation, they want to pull a streaming video off of YouTube, uh... You're just going to pull something off of it. Yeah, thing. let's see what they have here. There you go. And you can also tell that the audio is working. Oh, yeah, oh, that audio is coming from the TV right now. So it's really good video performance. It's almost yeah. very little latency. Okay, some other things with the WPS software here is you have the ability to do quadrants. So if you have a lot of users using it and you want to show four oh, at cool. the same time. 
and you can hit stop to stop all the projecting and pause will actually just pause it to the time you pause it until you hit unpause oh wow you also have a menu here this menu you can show the receiver information just in case other people want to connect web admin leads you back to the admin page And uh, you want to show us some of the features like with con conference control right there that I see? Okay. Yeah, the uh, conference control here, once I click on it, I'll click, it shows, it'll show a list of everyone that's connected. Since I'm the moderator, I'll uh, type in the password. Okay. And there's one thing you see up here, allow control from this page only. I have that checked. So I'm the only one, because I'm logged in, that's able to control. I'll see a list of everyone's names, and let's say... You know, pretend there's other people, but I'll go ahead and say, Edward, I want you to display. So I'll hit number one, and what it does, it'll show them in quadrant one. Okay, cool. So let's just say I have, like, five people in here all connected to this unit. You as the moderator can choose who's displaying, and you can also choose who's displaying on which quadrant. That's correct, and it's exactly, it, it's perfect for classrooms, conference rooms, where there's always one person that's leading the... Uh, meeting. Okay, cool. And uh, I know that this does have some support for like iPads or some other tablets. Okay. Conveniently, we have an iPad Mini here. You want to show us how how, to, how this works? Okay. So uh, first thing you want to do, uh, let's see if I have the app here, which I do. Okay. Uh, What's it, the app called? It's called Wi-Fi Doc. Wi-Fi Doc. What's that look like? Right Just there. like that. Okay. And if oh. this could be. You could actually download this from the Play Store, Google's Play Store. Or the App Store on or, Apple. Yeah, Apple's App Store. Okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and run the program. Okay, there you go. No available receiver. Oh, actually, it did find it. There it is. WPS. Because it's on the same network, so it found it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Okay, so it's looking for the login code. So there's someone on there right now. But what I'm going to do, I just go show receiver information. 7352 in the upper right-hand corner. So 7352. Hit connect. Okay, and what it's doing is showing a list of my documents. I could also show photos. Or do a shot and show, which is like a screen. Uh, you take a picture of your screen, and then it'll show it onto the onto the uh, display. So let's go ahead and show this PowerPoint. Okay. Once I hit play, it goes ahead. It'll show it onto the screen, and then from here, I could actually swipe to the next slide. And so. Uh, as the moderator on this laptop, you could choose which one's being displayed. So right now, you're choosing to have the iPad displayed, correct? Well, actually, with the conference control, I actually logged out. But once you are signed back in as a moderator, yes, you could actually show the iPad on there, too. As you can see, it's listed there. See? iPad. Oh, that's pretty cool. Really cool. Okay, and just so to rehash, um, the iPad though, it's limited to just these document sharing. So you can see pictures and like PowerPoints, Excels, but there's no screen mirroring. Like you're not gonna be able to run apps and see them on the screen, correct? No, and yeah, the solution for that would just be the shot show. So what you could do is just, it'll take a picture of your screen and then it'll send it over okay. to the screen. But it's still good. Like if you're doing a PowerPoint, you just wanna bring it in on your tablet, you can just swipe through and do a presentation still on your exactly. tablet. Exactly, PowerPoints, if you wanna show a PDF document, it works perfectly for that. Cool. Uh, well, I think we went over pretty much everything. Uh, you guys out there, watch all our videos on QVS video on our uh, QVS video page on YouTube. Uh, anything you want to add, Bert? Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below, and we will answer it as fast as we can. All right. Thanks, guys.